Now, out of the 12 thoracic vertebrae, the atypical varieties are the first thoracic vertebrae. We have the T9, T10, T11, and T12 being the atypical varieties. So let's just compare these atypical vertebrae so it would be easier for you to identify these atypical thoracic vertebrae. Starting off with the first thoracic vertebrae, as it is closer to the cervical region that we've already discussed, so the atypical features that it has are that the body is not heart-shaped. The superior costal facet on the body is complete as it articulates with the head of the first rib. The inferior costal facet is usually a demi facet for the second rib. The spine is long and horizontal, which is basically in similarity to a cervical region. And then we have a costal facet that is present laterally as well, present on the first thoracic vertebrae. Moving on, we have the T2 till T8, we have the typical thoracic vertebrae. And then again, we move on to the atypical varieties. First of all, discussing the uh, ninth thoracic vertebrae. This has only one atypical feature that's lacking the inferior costal facets, or in some cases, a small semilunar facet below is present as shown over here. So only the superior costal demi facets are found here. Then we have the 10th thoracic vertebrae. Now if you look closely on this T10, there is a single complete costal facet along the upper margin of the body. In this 11th vertebrae, the costal facet is encroaching on the pedicle and observe that the transverse processes does not have the articular facets. In the 12th thoracic vertebrae, the costal facet completes and ha now has reached almost the middle of the body. No facet on the transverse processes and the transverse process has regressed now. Inferior articular processes of lumbar type are present. Spine has become horizontal within this region. So these are the atypical features for the 12th thoracic vertebrae.